and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Care Of and I'll be talking about them a little bit later on in the video. But today's video, I wanna show you guys three different ideas for nourish bowls. If you haven't heard of nourish bowls, well, basically they're just a bunch of bowls that happen to be nourishing, I think. <laughs> the definition. I apologize for that. Nourish bowls, also known as Buddha bowls. Okay, you've heard of Buddha bowls, right? Or macro bowls are well-balanced, healthy meals containing a good portion of nutrient dense vegetables and or fruits, carbohydrates, and protein topped with a dressing of sorts. There you go. Clearly, that is a very wide definition and you can make all kinds of different nourish bowls or Buddha bowls, whatever you wanna call them. And today I just thought I would show you guys three different ideas and they are all gonna be so delicious. I cannot wait for you to try these. And they're really simple, very easy to swap out different ingredients. And um, my mouth is just watering, okay. Anyways, if you guys are interested in any of the written recipes, they are always linked down below in a blog post so make sure you check that out to get all of the measurements and ingredients and steps but without further ado let's jump into recipe number one so for recipe number one i wanted to make a really simple sushi bowl if you guys haven't made sushi bowls yet they are fantastic if you love sushi and you're too lazy to roll well sushi bowls are the way forward so here is a delicious sushi bowl this is recipe number one let's see how i made it before we jump in, just letting you know that all of the recipes, as always, will be linked in a blog post down below, so check that out if you want the written recipes and the measurements. So the first thing I did to prepare this bowl is to actually roast some sweet potatoes in my air fryer. I simply peeled the sweet potatoes, then I cut them up into cubes like so, and then I added them into a bowl, and I did add a bit of oil, then I mixed, and then I added my spices. So of course you wanna add a little bit of salt, and then the rest of the spices are honestly up to you. I added in some Herbe de Provence, Herbe de Provence. I also added in smoked paprika. Then I simply air fried these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so now that we have prepared the roasted sweet potato, we can put together our sushi bowl, okay? We have here some rice. I'm using brown rice. You can use whatever rice you want. You can use sushi rice if you want more of that authentic experience. I have brown short grain rice, which is kind of similar to sushi rice. So here, I'm just gonna add in a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of sugar, uh-huh, there we go. And it's simple, we're just gonna also add in some rice vinegar and then just mix this. And that is our sushi rice. That's how easy it is, guys. All right, so now that we've mixed that together, now you wanna do that when the rice is kinda warm so that it mixes well, you know. Now we can assemble, we can just add whatever you want. I like to add some julienne carrots. Mm hmm and I also like purple cabbage or red cabbage whatever you call it and again you can feel free to add whatever veggies you want to add into your little bowl and then we can add our roasted sweet potato mm-hmm beautiful you can pretty much add however much you want you guys obviously it's your bowl um, very delicious and if I had some avocado I would add that as well for our protein I'm gonna use edamame beans and we also have a little bit of corn. This is all ideas, people. You don't have to do everything I'm doing, but I wanted to quickly make a sriracha mayo. I'm using Hellman's vegan mayo, and I'm just gonna add a little spoonful of that. And then I'm also gonna add in, of course, sriracha, okay? You can add as much as you want, as little as you want, and then we're gonna mix it, and that's our sriracha mayo. So now that we have our delicious sriracha mayo, oh my God, it's so good, why is it so good? We can drizzle that on top. Ooh, mm-hmm. And then on top of this, we can add some nori. So I just cut up some nori. I just took like a sheet of nori and I just cut it up with some scissors. And I'm just gonna top with that. And then the final touch, of course, we love to add some toasted sesame seeds. We're just gonna top it with that. And there you go. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of soy sauce on top, like drizzle that on top to make this more flavorful. But there you have it. There is your sushi bowl. Again, feel free to add in more veggies, different types of veggies, whatever you wanna add, some avocado on top, different type of dressing if you want, plenty of soy sauce if you need. But there you have it. Very simple, very easy, nutritious, delicious sushi bowl, completely vegan. Yay! All 
right, time to try it. I'm so excited. I mean, we know how delicious this is gonna be. Mm. That sweet potato is so good. You gotta make that sriracha mayo, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, seriously, it's so good. Mm. So as I mentioned earlier, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Care Of. So if you guys haven't heard of Care Of, they are a vitamins and supplements company that makes it super, super easy for you to be taking your vitamins and taking care of your health and just maintaining your beautiful, gorgeous self, okay? So a lot of people ask me about my vitamins, like what I take and all that stuff, and everything I need is in one of these little packets, okay? So this box right here is my monthly supply of vitamins and supplements, if you will. And this has my own customized formulation of vitamins and supplements according to my own preferences and needs and lifestyle. And when you sign up for Care Of, this gets shipped to you straight to your door every single month. So you don't forget to go and buy more and it's just so easy, okay? So all you have to do to get started is take a five minute quiz, which is linked down below. And that's gonna ask you some questions about your health, your lifestyle, activity level, kind of your health goals, things like that. And then it's gonna give you a suggestion of what sort of vitamins you might wanna add into your pack. You can of course add other things that Care Of offers as well that's not suggested. So that's something you can play around with. But yeah, you just take the five minute quiz. It's super simple and easy and it just kind of gives you what you might need. So after you're done your quiz, you just select your vitamins, supplements, whatever you need, and then they get shipped to your door every single month. And it's so great because it's just convenient and it has everything you need in one of these little packets, okay? So this is customized to you. It even has your name on it. And then it usually has like a little quote or a little question of the day or something, which is really, really cute. If I did not mention already, my favorite part of Care Of is that it just makes it so easy. Everything you need in one little packet. I don't have to take out 10 different jars of supplements and vitamins or whatever. Everything you need is in here. If you're always on the go or if you like to travel, these little packets are so handy. I just keep my box on my counter where I can see it so that I remember to take it and it actually helps like I feel like I just like take supplements more because I just see this lovely little box on my counter so yeah I've been taking care of for a while now I just love the convenience of it all and it just makes taking my supplements so much easier and that makes me feel good about my health and everything okay and of course they have other products that you can check out as well especially if you're really into fitness they've got like creatine supplements like electrolytes and things like that and they also have protein powders and yes they have plant-based protein powders I have here this vanilla protein powder. I also love their chocolate protein powder. Don't forget to check out Care Of. Once again, you can take that really quick five minute quiz, which is linked down below. And of course, you guys, you get a special offer because you are all so beautiful and lovely. You get 50% off your first order using the link down below. All the info will be down below, you guys. Again, 50% off your first order. So don't forget to check out Care Of. Thank you so much to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first recipe, the sushi bowl, absolutely delicious. Now let's move on to recipe number two. So for recipe number two, we made this beautiful vegan salmon bowl. Yes, my friends, absolutely fantastic. Tons of veggies, we got the rice in there. Let's just jump into how to make it. If you guys remember a few videos ago, I actually tested out a recipe by Sam by It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. She made a vegan salmon recipe that I just had to try and I fell in love with it ever since. So I decided to kind of take that recipe and make it like basically the same, but just like cutting it up into smaller pieces. So I actually made Sam's marinade and now I just have some firm tofu just sitting in here. So what I'm gonna do is take that firm tofu. So I made the same marinade, so go and follow her recipe for the marinade. And now I'm just going to coat the tofu pieces in cornstarch. So basically we're doing the same thing, except for just making it into smaller pieces, which I think would just be easier to work with. If you haven't tried this recipe, you guys, you must try it. I've made it another time after making that video and it is just so good. If you miss that fishy taste, okay, it is just so good. And when you make the marinade, you can actually use it more than once. So it's actually pretty good. The only downside is the marinade is a bit uh, scary in color. So you're like, is this gonna stain all my clothes? Maybe don't wear white, okay. So we have the pieces here. And into this, I'm just gonna add some cornstarch. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup. I'm not sure if I need the full half cup. Let's, oh, I need like a, you know what? I'll do the whole thing. YOLO. This tofu, I actually froze it as well and I thawed it out. It was extra foam tofu that I froze, thawed out, then squeezed out some of the water. 
So if you want more marinade to get into your tofu, I would suggest freezing the tofu, then thawing it out, and then squeezing the water out. That way you can squeeze more water out of the tofu. And now we are on the pan. We're gonna add in some oil. I'm just gonna use one tablespoon for now. And then what I wanna do is place the tofu pieces on top. So we're making little, little salmon squares, if you will. But you just wanna make sure they're not touching each other because I think they're gonna just stick together. So just make sure they're all separated, okay? Now you can just follow Sam's recipe and just make it exactly how she's doing it. This is just a different way of making it, so yeah. Ooh. So the cornstarch, you guys, is gonna make this a little bit more crispy on the outside. Look at that, it's already kind of cooking up nicely. So the salmon is ready, the vegan salmon cubes. They're looking fantastic. So now we can put together our bowl. So I have here some rice. You can use whatever grains you want if you wanna make like quinoa or something or couscous or maybe you wanna do like a mixture of brown rice and wild rice. That's really healthy. You can do barley, do whatever you want. I just have rice because I love rice, okay? And in here I thought I would add just like a small amount of soy sauce. Just a, you know, little bit, not too much. And also, my favorite thing ever, toasted sesame oil. Korean kind, get the Korean kind, my friends. Okay, makes a difference. We're gonna add that in. We're just gonna mix it well. When I was young, I used to just mix rice with soy sauce and sesame oil and eat it like that, because it's just so good. I mean, oh, that smell. That tiny little bit of sesame oil, you guys, oh my gosh, it makes such a big difference. But we gotta start putting it together. So I decided to add a big, better greens okay i just have some mixed greens in here get some veggies in so we got some mixed veggies we love that and then on here i'm just gonna straight up add our rice this is my type of salad you know what i'm saying and i also actually prepared some roasted veggies and here is how i made the roasted veggies in my air fryer so for the roasted veggies, I'm using three different kinds. I have cauliflower, I also have broccoli and zucchini. Obviously, you can add whatever other veggies you want to add. And of course, you want to wash them and then chop them up into nice little bite-sized pieces. Then I simply add them to a large mixing bowl. And then of course, we're going to start with adding a bit of oil to coat everything. And for seasonings, again, you can choose whatever seasonings you want, but I use some garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. Feel free to go wild and try out different types of seasonings. And then of course, toss this around and make sure everything is well coated. And again, I air fried these at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes just until the veggies were done to my liking. If you don't have an air fryer, you can always use your oven. I always just up the temperature by 25 degrees. So for the oven, I would use about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I always bake it for a little longer. So for the oven, I would probably do around 20 to 30 minutes. I mean, honestly, you can add as much veg as you want. That's one of the best things about vegetables. There's basically no... Um, no limit. That's how I like to see it. And now we can add our little salmon cubes. Oh my God. Are we impressed? I am. So one block of tofu would make about four servings, but obviously you can eat as much as you want based on your own needs. Ooh, I made. Do I want to add anything else? If you want to add anything else, I'm just going to add some carrots just to make it, you know, nice and colorful. And there you have it, guys. We have this beautiful vegan salmon bowl with brown rice. We've got the vegan salmon cubes, plenty of veggies. We've got fresh mixed veggies. And then we also have some roasted veggies, some carrots. I mean, what is not to love? This looks so delicious. I feel like I would want to eat this every single day. All right, I'm so excited for this. First of all, let's have a little vegetable. Uh-huh. Mmm, vegan salmon. That is perfection. It's so good. Mm-hmm. The salmon, the longer you marinate it, the better it is. So highly recommend marinating it for a long time. And I've also tried making the salmon with medium firm tofu that I froze, thawed out, squeeze out all that water. And that actually makes it a lot more flavorful as well. And it's a lot softer than firm tofu. So it almost makes it more flaky, kind of like salmon. Highly recommend trying it with medium firm tofu as well. But I also love it with firm tofu. Highly recommend trying this, guys. Oh my God, it's so good. All right, guys. So for recipe number three, last but not least, okay. We've got a beautiful 
soba noodle bowl with a tahini dressing. This is definitely some of my favorite things combined into one bowl. So, so delicious. We love a good tahini dressing. Let's jump into how easy it is to make this bowl. So of course I had to do a soba noodle bowl because you guys know how much I love soba noodles for so many reasons. There are lots of health benefits to buckwheat. I will not name them here. You can Google it yourself, okay? But I just love them. They're so, so delicious. So I have the buckwheat noodles here. I always get mine from the Korean supermarket. Please note that the ones that you get at the Korean supermarket usually are also mixed with wheat, so they're not actually gluten-free, but you can find gluten-free ones maybe online or in other stores. But yeah, I have this bundle here. And another reason why I love soba Soba noodles is because they cook in like five minutes and they're really chewy and delicious and you can use it for so many different things so that's why I love it so let me cook up the soba noodles and then let's make our bowl first thing you want to do is boil some water and cook up your soba noodles according to instructions this should only take about five minutes and then you want to drain it and then you want to rinse it in cold water as soon as it's done all right, so while your soba noodles are cooking, again, it's only gonna take five minutes, you can chop up your veggies. Once again, I'm using very similar veggies here. We have some julienne carrots. We also have the shredded red slash purple cabbage. I'm also gonna add in some cilantro as well. And I also have a head of baby bok choy, which I am going to eat raw. Yes, okay, you can cook it up if you want, but I actually really like raw baby bok choy. If you haven't tried it, it's actually very tasty. It's very nice and crunchy. And I'm just gonna cut it up like so into thin slices. And then for our dressing, we're actually gonna use, of course, my favorite tahini dressing. Guys, this dressing. I've made way too many times. It is absolutely delicious. It's one of my absolute favorites. You have seen this multiple times, but here is how you make it. I seriously don't even know how many times I've made this dressing. I am very much obsessed. It is definitely a go-to. So again, if you need the recipe and the measurements, they will be linked down below. But essentially, all we're doing is mixing together a bunch of ingredients. And we're going to mix together, of course, tahini, some maple syrup or agave nectar, also some soy sauce, garlic powder and nutritional yeast, and then some apple cider vinegar. And then you're just going to mix that until it's nice and smooth. Then I like to add in tiny splashes of water and mixing it until I get the right consistency that I want. All right guys, so now the soba noodles have cooked and what you wanna do once they're done cooking is you want to drain and then rinse it thoroughly in cold water and that's gonna make the noodles so what we wanna do is I'm gonna actually add a little bit of that tahini dressing into the noodle first just to coat it. I don't wanna add too much yet because we're gonna add more, okay, later but I want all the noodles to taste delicious. So we're gonna add some of that tahini dressing on here. There you go. So we added some of that tahini dressing and then of course we can make it more healthy. We can add in more veggies. Once again, we have the carrots. And again, guys, feel free to add in whatever veggies you want. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. These are just ideas, okay? Then we have the baby bok choy. Ooh, fancy, lovely, look at that. All right, we have that. And then for our protein, we're doing chickpeas. But again, you can do whatever protein you want. If you wanna add edamame to this, if you wanna do tempeh, whatever you want, okay? I'm doing chickpeas. And now, this part is totally optional, but we love me some cilantro. So we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro on top. Coriander, as the British call it. And final touch, of course, sesame seeds my friends. Little bit of sesame seeds. Oh. oh, that's not the final touch. The final touch is more tahini dressing. That's the final touch. I'm just gonna pour a little bit more of that on top of the veggies, like so. And of course you can use however much you want. And there you have it. There is the final bowl. This is a soba noodle tahini bowl, whatever you wanna call it. Absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried this tahini dressing, you must try it. It is so good. I put it on top of everything. It is actually so delicious. So yeah, and if you also want, you can actually put some on top of the roasted veggies that we made. Options are endless. And there you go. There is the soba noodle bowl. Yay! guys time to try it oh i'm so excited i love soba noodles i seriously ate soba noodles i think like like three times this week this morning too <laughs> i just love it so much okay
My hair is in the work. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Mm hmm. Like, it's healthy, but it's so good. Like, you have to try this. So that is pretty much it for my nourish bowl recipes video I hope you guys took some inspiration from this I hope you found it helpful I hope you try out all of these because they are so delicious and also make your own go crazy go wild do whatever you want okay make yourself some colorful delicious plant-based bowls because they are so good they're very satisfying as well anyways if you guys want all of the written recipes once again they will be in a blog post down below and once again if you guys haven't checked out care of make sure you check them out link is down below thank you so much to care of for sponsoring today's video and of course if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video of course give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye